Dude, we're here wow, live. Wow. Matt and Shane Secret Podcast. Shane is away handling serious business at the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But I do have the bros here, dude. Yes. Rob dude. Cruz, Naeem Ali, Drew Montana. Yes. Here we go. Do rag and a deer tag. Thank you. Thanks for coming and bailing me out, guys. Oh, dude. Appreciate you having us. I would have sat here by myself and just went like, uh, I don't know. Uh uh. <laughs> you would have figured it out. True, Gardini. <laughs> I could have had it. I could have talked to Gardini as well. Yeah. But I don't I don't want to, you know. Have you ever done a solo pot? Like one of yeah, just I, I've, I've ripped them on Patreon a couple of times. Okay, try to talk. It gets really weird, especially if you have a live chat. Yeah. You can break down immediately. Yeah. I've, I've uh, like yeah. I had gotten high and did it one time on Patreon or like for a Patreon thing. As soon as someone's like "fuck you," you're like stop. Like, that guy's problem. I couldn't do it with the live chat, hole, dude. dude. You get you get fucked up immediately. If, if I I'm say sure. something funny and it doesn't get a million laugh emojis, I'm fucking ending the stream, dude. And you can have it'll be yeah, cool, cool. Then one guy will be like, "You're a fucking loser and a fraud," and you go, <laughs> and then you're you're talking, but you have another part of your mind that's actively thinking like, about that. What's that guy's fucking problem? And you start being like, "No, I'm not," and you're you're done. You're dude. Scott yep. Adams does a podcast is a guy who created Dilbert where he sits in front of a live stream me we and Shane talked about this last week where it was like he's there's like boomer type dudes that are like getting crushed in the comments yeah because you guys deal you guys deal with negative comments yet or you guys yeah, 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 so you yeah guys, we get them we get some everyone's nice at first and then it flips and you, people start you get nasty boys mm-hmm. yeah so it rules he, when you only have like three comments usually that's nice like, though. usually yeah. three dudes are pumped on you yeah, yeah. But when you get like 300 like Five of them are gonna go. It's you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Yo. We only usually get bad comments when we do somebody else's podcast. So like after this, somebody gonna be like, "Fuck Naeem, he's dressed like shit." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it's a right. Of pa- I think it's a rite of passage. Yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. have to just endure the the uh, you know, dude. The comments, the opinions. The comments secretly love my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. They're secretly big fans really? of my chompers, dude. That's they want them. That's tight. Yeah. They want their own pair of these things. <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> I'm gonna start selling them, dude. They are <laughs> beautiful, dude. They're, they're like abstract. Thank you. A dentist, a dentist told me that. <laughs> Yo, you said his teeth abstract. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, I had a high you gotta have a, You gotta have a good think. Are you familiar? Are you familiar with the Mobius strip? No. So when you like invert a circle so that it goes on like forever, the way it's twisted, you never know oh, what side yeah. is up or down. Is that what you're saying? His teeth look <laughs> yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. That's, yo, that's fucked up. Fuck? It's actually fucked up. That is fucked up, bro. <laughs> dude, they're like a small clock, dude. They're like a pocket watch in front of your eyes. You're saying his yes. teeth his teeth just like just go above and beyond Euclidean geometry. You're saying you can't. 100%. I, I squint when I look at Drew. <laughs> that's fucked up, actually. Yeah. If you look at <laughs> stuff, I'm trying to get away from that stuff. Yeah. Okay. If you look at him from the side, it's a giraffe. I swear to God, yeah. like, it's a sideways giraffe. It's weird. Are you gonna Are you gonna Invisalign when you get paid, or like, what are you gonna do? Now it's just no, a matter of time. You guys are gonna get paid. Yeah, I so can't like, wait. Dude. Will you Invisalign, or are no, you gonna Are you gonna I, get a grill? I think I'm getting girls. Nice. Yeah, nice. Dude, I went to the dentist the other day, and she's pretty hot. And she told me she stared into my face for like an hour while I was like this. And she was like, yo, your teeth aren't that bad. And I was like, don't lie to me, lady. But also, <laughs> like, I got good eyes and shit. Like, you could have said that. Yeah. But the fact that she said that gave me some hope. So maybe she I don't said, think I can fix these I things. I don't think they're that bad. I don't think they're, you they know, are. again, I'm not, like, I'm, I more look at girls that way. I don't appraise dudes physically, but, so I don't really There you care. go. Yeah. Yeah, see, so we but, straight. No, I was trying to bait you into something there. No, but, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm just kind of like, whatever, you dude. You didn't take the cheese, dude. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I, have a, I have a very attractive dermatologist who's seen my penis multiple times, and it's just cool. The, it's you got the pimples worst. on your penis? No, it's just I had dry skin I was dealing with. And now that yeah, I, didn't, I didn't want to get into this, dude, but the fact that <laughs> I had like this crazy dry skin that I thought was ringworm, it turned out it was just eczema. Nice. So I was putting ringworm cream on my dick for like what six months, dude, and it just turned my dick like completely red and just. It was like elephant graveyard. Your bird was pissed. My, half my dick was the, like Pride Lance. The other half was elephant graveyard. <laughs> I had it. You had Hellboy Dude, dick. Uh, <laughs> for like six months until it finally I fucking showed my... I like wa- walked around and paraded my penis to like urgent care. My doctor. <laughs> nonstop. And then finally I had it. They showed it to the dermatologist. It was like this... She's a babe. And yeah. she was like, oh, try this. It's actually probably... It's not that. Damn. That's the, the one place I don't long. have eczema. I have eczema everywhere but my dick. Dude, it sucks. I had the opposite going on. I had no eczema, so I was like, dude, this is definitely ringworm. Yeah, and then only on, it's mostly on my ass though. Like my ass looks like crocodile skin. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> you never want to see my cheeks, bro. Never. <laughs> what causes it? Is it genetic or I, I th- well, I think it's a diet thing. Like inflammation. Mm-hmm. I drink a lot. I notice when I'm eating a lot of sugar, that's when my sugar, sugar kicks it up. Stress, dairy, stress. stress. Gotcha. Like if yeah, if, a, if your babe's not acting right, they'll flare up. They'll flare up. Oh right hell right. yeah! That's <laughs> yeah. Did you ever yeah. try to hit a babe with that? Be like you're, you're doing shit that's bad for my health right now. Oh, they yeah. don't give a fuck about they that. They don't do that at all. <laughs> they don't they give don't. A fuck about <laughs> you're like no, like what you're doing is killing me, and they're like, dude, fuck off. Yeah, man, the fuck up. What do you I mean used to say me? that to get out of eating pussy. I'd be like, I have a tongue condition where it like gets weaker over time. <laughs> and I was like, you don't even want this problem. <laughs> it's gonna be a problem for both. I'm stressed. <laughs> like, why are you getting out of eating pussy? She's like, sometimes I don't want to do it. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's you're tripping. I don't love it. Eating pussy's fun. That's. I mean, I respect dudes that don't eat pussy. Do you not eat pussy? No, or I'll you just, eat it. You begrudgingly eat pussy. No, I'll eat it, but it's like, <laughs> it's like a kid going to the dentist, dude. <laughs> like, I don't want to go, but like, give me a fucking a lollipop after, dude. Give how, me a sucker. So you, you know what I'm saying? Do you have like? Because that's foreplay. Do you have to? How do you foreplay yourself up into like? Do you have to be like pushed down? No, my dick gets pretty hard. No, I don't, I'm not saying that. I'm saying... Uh, <laughs> stop wait, trying wait, to get me to talk about wait, your dick, Tom, dude. Tom, 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 Tom. You <laughs> think Rob had a weird dick, too. Talk about his. Wait, Tom, oh, Rob bro. had a weird dick thing? We can go to that. <laughs> no, my dick's fine, dude. <laughs> it used to be weird. If you got a fix. You went to the orthodontist. Yeah, I did get a fix. <laughs> <laughs> I got work done. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rob used to have to get uh, sounded. Because his dick hole was too small. So these what? are the t- yeah. daddy had to put sticks inside of his hole. <laughs> Did they really? They yeah. stretched you out? Pause. And my poppy. Did. <laughs> they had to stretch, stretch your out. penis hole open? Yeah. And my poppy did it. <laughs> Wait. Wait. My, my poppy put the stick in. What poppy? My poppy. Like my your, pops. your dad? Yeah. 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 I thought you were saying you went to the poppy store, dude. <laughs> 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 poppy fixed your dick. The Dominicans on 20. Yeah. 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 He went to Jimenez and the Jimenez, what's this? <laughs> Fix it. I got sun chips in a sick it, hole. They did, it with, <laughs> they did it with like the sandwich toothpicks. They're fucking hold still, pop. <laughs> So your, your dad fixed your penis hole? Is your dad a urologist yeah. or is he just like, is that his passion? <laughs> it's it's kind of like, um, <laughs> he's just really good You know, like it. how like the vet will like teach you how to like give your dog medicine. <laughs> like that's yeah, how, yeah. that's what the doctors did with my dad. They're oh, like, they were like, here's how you can train your boy's bird. We're not, why didn't they do yeah, it? Wrap it's his f- bird in cheese. <laughs> why didn't the doctors, why do they train your dad to doctor your bird? <laughs> that's uh, crazy. I mean, who else is going to do it? The uh, doctor. I, 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 well, I had to do it every day. What did you You had to stick something Down your dick hole <laughs> You guys have talked about this you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah Plenty of times So you had to stick something <laughs> yeah. At least That's why they call me The Iron Cruise dude. <laughs> So every you day can't break Do you it. have to get hard for this Or flaccid um, Think carefully Dealer's dad choice Dealer's <laughs> choice Dealer's <laughs> choice It works either way <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> was this like an after school thing? He was like, Rob, put your book book bag down. We're gonna have to Yeah, it, it was credits. <laughs> no, it was uh What how old were you during this? If you don't mind me asking. Uh I was like like seven. Okay, that's a, that's probably the best time to do it. I yeah. thought you were that's like, the worst time. The best time no. is like never. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're if you could be like fourteen, that would be a weird. Oh yeah, that's time. Weird. yeah. Fourteen would be rough. So what was like the breakdown? You're gripping your shaft, I presume. Right. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're gripping shaft, yeah. and he's just fucking. What's he sticking down there? Uh. It was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he said he's plunging it. <laughs> the shit's clocked. He no, was using no, a se- coffee seven, stir. Seven, seven was a coffee stir. He was just. 
Dude, there's no way a doctor told your dad to stick stuff down your penis hole. It was a leaf blower. <laughs> Was it a bike pump? <laughs> so wait, so so what was the instrument? What was the instrument? It had to have been like a specialized. It was instrument. um, it was just like a blue plastic stick. Damn. And it, did he at least lube it up? He spit on it. <laughs> he spit on it. <laughs> no. <laughs> it nah, was. No, nah, I, I don't think he lubed it up or anything. To my knowledge, he had to have lubed it up. Yeah, he, he can't do that. Dry. Maybe he kept it from me. Yeah, he probably was. Yeah, yeah, he probably yeah. he probably also didn't want you to see the stuff. He's probably like, bro, yeah. Michael's oh. special stuff. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think <laughs> did he ever give you the birds and the bees talk while like fixing your dick? <laughs> like, look, here, when a fucking boy and a girl like chill, 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 brother, chill, brother. <laughs> Yo, did you? How hard does this hurt? Like, <laughs> uh, it did first, and then actually it was pretty actually, smooth. Yeah, after yeah, a while. pretty smooth. Yeah. It's like yeah. anal. <laughs> like, yeah, for sure. It's kind of like, how long did the treatment go on for? If you break your penis, Simon, that thing kind of feels good after. True. <laughs> yeah. He was my first. I can't breathe. Damn, dude, that's cr- what was. So, were you having like cum pisses? Like, how did the doctor figure this out? Was it like shooting to the side? Or, like, how do they know you're? So, you don't want to uh, talk I about had... this, by the way. We don't have to talk about it. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Too fucking late. <laughs> no, it was. Um, I, I had I'm like I, I got a like a hernia, like an obscurely young age. Uh, um, and then and then I went to the doctor for that, and then there was mm, a little bird play, and then they gotcha. saw what was going on. And they're like, mm. What the fuck? Yeah. Um, that sucks. But yeah. I, I do think seven was a good age. You got me thinking. Seven is a good age. Dude. I had no. Uh, like schmeckle and security. Yeah, yeah. Like at that age, I'm like, this could be the sickest. Yeah. yeah. Well, being Dick four would be weird because you like vaguely, rem- you'd have like dreams about him. Like, why am I thinking about it? You, you wouldn't really. Yeah, you wouldn't really remember. remember. Right. You're old enough to be like, my dad's not, you know. If it would have happened right. when you were four, you'd have thought that aliens was abducting you at night and doing it to you daily now. Yeah. Like that's how that's how vague the memory would have been. You'd have been like, damn, why every night is UFOs picking me up and sticking shit in my dick? But because it was seven, you actually remember. Like, yeah. okay. Yeah, the that context happened. would be like. You know what I mean? I wonder As a if I dad, I couldn't anything. do it. Though. As a dad, I could never do that to my son. He just would have. We had to get a transgender surgery or something like that. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> saying that. That's crazy. No, I, get, I give props to my dad. Yeah, that, no, that your dad's move. the man for yeah. that. Really? Yeah, that's wild. He had my back and my front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, did dude. he have a similar? Se- oh no, it was because of a. Was it because of the hernia or what? Uh, no, it was just something they noticed. As an aside, how do they notice mm. that though? I gotta. I want them to look at mine now. Yeah, my, right. dad, my dad might have to fix my penis hole. <laughs> yeah. How do you know if it's too skinny? That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, I mean, it did, did make sense. I do kind of like remember like piss like kind of going like. Oh, so you were, you were yeah, like you put your thumb over those. Yeah. Oh, damn, bro. You ever, yeah. like, you ever turn the shower head? Yeah, like yeah, that. For sure. mm-hmm. You had for, you're like the contrary when you get like yeah. the S thing. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Buck, buckshot. Yeah, yeah. That's too, <laughs> yeah. That's too much pressure. Yeah, yeah. That's too much pressure. Well, we'll get off this topic. I don't want to. All right, dude. I have like a million more questions. Uh, I'm cool as a cucumber, dude. That's cool. <laughs> oh, this makes me wildly uncomfortable. Are you kidding? <laughs> I hate thinking about things getting stuck inside of dicks. That's the worst. I hate thinking about that. So it was just. <laughs> so he just stretched it out over time. Then you were good. That it wasn't like it wasn't like a retainer where you got to like. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes or the night, <laughs> sleep with it in yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, I think it was just a few months, and then I was smooth sailing. That gives me hope for my deviated septum. I feel like I I've been saying forever <laughs> I can probably just push it over little by little. Yeah. But everyone's like, no, nah, it doesn't work that way. But it's like there's more proof. Yeah. What did you break your nose? I've I've gotten punched in the face a okay. million times. I didn't. I don't know if I've ever broken. I don't have a bone here. I have no Damn, bone. what? Goes right Whoa, down. Yeah, that's bro. crazy. I got no what the bone fuck? I got no bone Yo. in my nose. You were born without that? Yeah, dude. Dude, I got one of them in my t- uh in my toe right here. It can bend all the way back. Oh yeah, he does. I've seen it before. Yeah. Oh, oh. what the fuck is wrong with you guys' bodies? <laughs> oh, what the fuck, yo? That's disgusting, man. <laughs> I used to be able to, to touch the back of my hand. Really? Yeah. Ugh. I don't know if I could do it anymore. It was cold and I tried it like a month ago and it kind of hurt. So. <laughs> <laughs> I might have fucked it up. Dude, I have not got to get credit for that for like maybe 30 years. No, I just do it like first that. grade. Just be like. Dude, yeah, I remember going to the lunch table and just putting your fucking dogs on the table and being like, ladies, look. <laughs> <laughs> Sending them all the way back. You're yanking them things. Dude, Damn. I mean, we can't legally talk about it, but nothing gets you know who's you know what or then. Bending back for that. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Legally, you can't say we're talking about. Do nothing gets them fucking. 
Yeah. Yeah. But if you know who's our listening, go up to the you know what and fucking <laughs> <laughs> tug on them, dude. I'm telling you. As a you know what yourself, obviously we're talking about. Right, right, I would right. never go into a grade school now and be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> former you know what. Yeah. So nice of you. So nice of you do lunch duty, but yeah, don't mention it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that sucks, dude. When teachers just lose the plot and fuck students. Yeah, that's, that's wow. They, they, they didn't gotta, get the script. Like, dude, they got to be completely on some level. And I'm not excusing it, obviously. We'd mm. all stomp a pedo teacher right now. But it's like there has to be part of them that's kind of like a, a ball rolling down a hill where they can't stop themselves. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's, you have to know you're going to get busted. Yes, kids don't keep secrets. You're going to get caught. Exactly. You're going to get caught. But they do it. And they fuck the kids. And it's like, dude, you know you're getting busted for that. My English teacher fucked like four of my teammates when I was in high school. But she didn't fuck me. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but she that fucked stinks. like four. She bought him like winter coats and what? all types of things. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Everybody finds out too. And like even the ones where it doesn't happen, like lies get spread about kids yeah. fucking teachers yeah. like fucking wildfire. So if it really happens, then everyone's going to know. Yeah. It's a, like oh, best sure. case, that's the best case scenario. Everyone knows, but you don't get. Yeah. But you don't like get arrested. Yeah. But then everyone's like, yeah, I think that guy's a pedophile. And you got to be like. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that uh, that that happened to my physics teacher in high school. He got replaced mid year from like talking to one of the girls in my class, like trying oh, to fuck. Shit. Yeah, the physics teacher he got yeah. replaced. <laughs> yeah, oh, I thought you meant like they reassigned him. He was just gone. Well, he hit him with the "I'm not fired, I quit." <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> well, and then he went to another school. And then got fired for the same thing. Damn. What? Yeah. Oh, he just loved the little babies. Yeah, he loved Damn. them. Damn. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. That's so nasty. Fucking, actually, J-Rock is the one that got my English teacher fired. Because he fucked her. He fucked her. Nice. And then we was, in, uh, we was in class one day and she kicked him out of class. And he was like, yo, he was like, listen. If you want me to come to detention, I'm snitching. I'm telling. They had a lover's quarrel. Yeah. And then she, and then she, made, and then she, got, and then she suspended him. And then he told Oh, yeah, yep. that she was on the news and everything. That that's on her. Yeah, that's yeah. on her. That is a bad play on her part. But she thought he was bluffing, and he wasn't. I mean, she also might have been setting him up for the ultimate fucking role play. Being like, Ooh, like yeah, fucking in class. Right. She was taking him to sex detention, dude. Yeah, she was. Oh, he fucked up. Yeah, yeah he blew it. He was. She, she was did. setting up a porno. He was gonna have to go up to her after class. And like, you've been very bad. And yeah, like, damn. Yeah, and she was that. hot. She was nice. The biggest ass I ever seen on a teacher. Really, dude, a big yeah. ass in school fucking changed your whole day. Oh yeah, yeah, hell like, yeah. You're just dealing with like old dude teachers, and then fourth period comes around, you got a nice fucking booty to look yeah, at. Yeah, they, they revel in it though, dude, and that's the problem. Because I've always been like, why would a a lady, is a hot lady, from what you guys are saying, yeah. want to fuck a younger boy? True. Yeah. It's in like, my case, they never did, but. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> but in, some of my friends had that. Yeah, but it, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, like, maybe they are genuinely sexually attracted to them. But you, you ever think yeah. like, you ever think you were close with one? No, not like I went to an all boys school and there was uh, two. There was really one lady, two I would say, but one main one. She just had humongous tits, mm. and like she completely flaunted. At least to me, I would say, she. Yeah. I thought she flaunted them, and she seemed to kind of revel off the attention. Yeah. Again, I don't want to. You know, you know what? I can say for sure she did. Yeah, oh, but, for sure. But yeah, so but no, I never, I never had any co- sort of close. And then whatsoever. some of these teachers are twenty four, twenty five years old. So you're only seven years removed from high school. Yeah, and then now you're in charge of all these sixteen, seventeen year old boys. Like Dude, what the fuck? All the shows they fucking watch are about high schoolers having sex. Every show oh, yeah. girls watch are about high school. They just for you. They watch yeah. child porn, dude. Yeah. Every dude, Vampire Diaries, Damn, Riverdale. They do watch child porn. Ginny and Georgia on Netflix. I've seen all these shows, but dude, they fucking. <laughs> they, it's all high school kids having sex. Yeah, I, we had some Every of that too, one. though. The what? We had a little bit of that. It just wasn't like as graphic because it wasn't HBO. Oh yeah, but like Saved by the Bell was all about like you want to just make out with you, that lady. You were in by high the... school though. True, I wasn't. Saved but... by the Bell, Dawson's college? Creek. You could have been. You could have been an adult prom date though. You're gonna. You could have been in college and you know. True. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Uh, dude. I feel like we hit the uh, like the beginning of like the kids watching internet porn age. Yeah. Like I was watching crazy shit and like. Oh yeah, I missed grade. that. I missed that. I was. I was on a. Uh... VHS tapes in my childhood. I, the internet porn was when I was in college. Yeah, it was same. Still yeah, LimeWire. Yeah, still LimeWire. So like you yeah. had to download it and they threw it. And it took in, forever. 
Dude, see, LimeWire was like sixth grade for me, so I would just like save it to my family That's computer crazy, desktop dude. and fucking. Mm-hmm. It, dude, crazy. I remember my mom fucking yelled at me one day because there was a video saved to the desktop oh. titled "Big Bazookas." <laughs> 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 to me, it was the coolest thing in the world. But this lady had the best hits I've ever seen to this day. What did your mom yeah. say when she saw it? They were in like 480p, dude. It ruled. She was <laughs> 480? Yeah. Uh, I don't even remember. She was pissed, though. She's yeah. like, you can't be doing this. on the. I tried to like blame it on somebody else. Yeah. Like, was it a family computer setup? Like yeah, in the common it was in area? the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That was the... <laughs> I'd rather climb Mount Everest to try to jerk off in like my den again. Oh, family, that's jerk, a, scary. a jerk on the family computer is crazy. It's insane. <laughs> that is like a thrill. It's insane. No, it's, it made me so uncomfortable every time. Yeah. Really? Yeah, dude. Because like my it. grandma would walk down the stairs. I got caught by my grandma and my dad like weeks apart one time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they caught you with the bazooks. Did, did, yeah. did they? Uh, yeah, they caught him with arms, dude. Who's jer- <laughs> arms young? Yeah. Did they like talk to each other or was it both isolated? No, it was isolated. My grandma caught me, but it was like she was old. So I kind of don't know if she fully caught it, but she knew. Yeah. And then my dad, (laughs) dude, I was like jerking off one time without porn. Because this is like before you could watch it on like a phone or anything. In the kitchen? No, no, no. Without (laughs) porn. I was in my room. I was in my room just like fully in the zone, just thinking about tits. And uh, my dad like opened the door and I heard him through my fucking like. Like through my haze, he was like Drew, oh, and I was no. like still jerking. And then on the what? second Drew, he was like, <laughs> "What the fuck?" Oh, no. He's like Drew, stop it. <laughs> yeah, you was way too deep. Yeah, but I was you're probably in. your butt was probably raised off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I was by the ceiling, bro. Yeah. You're, he was. You're probably bridging. Dude. He was bridging. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I was like, Damn, six did he tell you to stop it? I forget what I he mean, said. you have to. I'm like, dude, stop jerking stop off. I'm it. talking to you. <laughs> stop like, ignoring me. He needed something. Like so it wasn't like a, I'll come back later. What? Yeah, you got to yeah. stop that. That's like, yeah. yeah, hey, knock it off. Stop that. Stop <laughs> yeah, fapping. Yeah. Stop fapping. Yeah. Damn. That's horseplay. <laughs> it's horseplay. Yo, jacking off the memory seems impossible. I do it. I'm off, I've been off the porn since August. Really? Yeah. So you go all just mental fucking roller decks, Imagination yeah. rules, dude. Just imagination. Damn, are you kidding me? Because you can picture the porn that's never been made. Yeah, you can, dude. I mean, I've I've, I've hopped time periods. That's my new yeah. thing. Y'all fucking retarded. I'll go, I'll go to like a Roman. I'll be a Roman prince. I don't even have to be me, dude. I'll be a what? Roman prince, dude. A, a, a water maid will come in with my pot of water. Yo. You strike me as a guy that Shit. likes erotica. Dude, I do. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I had to deny. I had to deny myself. Game knows game. Dude, I'm all. <laughs> I was in Cincinnati, and um, I was like, dude, I came back. Especially when I'm, I'm when I'm at home, it's easy for me not to watch porn. When I do stand up, it's like I want to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. And there's we all have the eject button when it's like, bro, I've been in this world long enough. Days over, but your body needs to calm down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't have to explain it to you guys. You know that for sure. You know about jerking you know. off and going to sleep. <laughs> but dude, I was like, I was in the throes of it, dude. Just in bed, like. Whoa. Oh, fuck am I watching porn and all of a sudden I went dude just read a little lit erotica and yeah. I was so close and I went it's all all roads lead to the same thing yeah. I said no that night I had a dream about cutting the head off a snake <laughs> yo what it was pretty cool you dreamed about freedom what'd you cut it off with uh, I had like some sort of like stick or something and I kind of violently like jabbed its head off nice. it was pretty cool I was with I was walking a trail with my family and there's a dead snake in the path yeah. I was like hold on guys and I went and oh you had a head off one. hacked it was dead so I'd obviously oh, overcome shit. the fucking snake from my Kundalini serpent. And I fucking <laughs> hacked the head off of it. And I was like, trail's clear. Let's go, guys. And I woke up like, damn, I got rewarded. Yeah. That shit fucking rules. Dude, See? killing a snake brings good luck. Yeah. Actually, I looked it up. Apparently, it's a good, it's like a good omen mm-hmm. to kill snakes really? in yeah. dreams. Yeah. My uh, my brother killed a snake with a rake recently. Really? And, uh, yeah, Gardner? Was, no, like a, a big ass like water moccasin. What? Yeah. Up in upstate New York. With a rake? Yeah. Damn, Chopped it right Jesus in half. Jesus Christ. And uh, <laughs> He dude, got some no, anger problems. Good. No, it was good stuff, dude. We've had good fortune in the house ever since. Yeah, that is a good, that's a yeah. good move. Yeah. <laughs> what are my consents or Gardini's fucking, uh, what are they? The Croc? Uh, those are nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, the Yeezys? Blizz gave those to me. They're actually, they are knockoffs. They're very, oh, they're not, they're not real? No, he he got some off Alibaba, and I was wearing them. They gave me, like, blisters on my hands. That is disgusting. You yeah. should burn those. Yeah, <laughs> they're tough, dude. <laughs> what they're the tough. fuck? They're tough. You can't wear fake the fake Yeezys, bro. I thought they were cool. They, they were look fun. real. They look just like the real. I, I have know. the black. I have those are they comfortable? Chinese are the real ones comfortable? <laughs> the reals are so yeah. comfortable. Those, like, dude, they, they gave me yeah. blisters. Thank you. Thank they're you. what? 
<laughs> the <chat. laughs> they gave you blisters? Yeah, they fucked me up. Well, see, the thing with knockoffs is it, that that is a um, like a Chinese war tactic. Like they'll give you knockoff shoes because what happens is over time it ruins your back, yep. your knees. Yep. You can't fight a war with bad knees, bad back. Yeah, the purses, the fake purses, probably give ladies like fucking yep. shoulder dysplasia. <laughs> yeah. Dude, man, I almost texted you at like midnight the other day because I was watching a fucking Chinese thing on the internet and I wanted to know if you'd heard about this. But, what? but have you seen their uh, their training their their kids in like elementary school to go to war? Really? Dude, they're shooting mm. rocket launchers and shit. It kind of rules. Really? Finally, something practical. Oh, yeah, Japan kind of did something similar though, and they had a very bad outcome. Mm-hmm. What happened? Like, Japan was like raising you from school age to like that's the enemy, get them. And you know, America. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, we dropped two nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, America doesn't like that kind of stuff. Fuck no. What do you think about that happened about this whole balloon thing? I think it was bullshit. Honestly, they there's said it was no way they inside didn't, of it. There's no way they didn't see. We have the whole mat, the whole Earth satellited out. True. We have Google Earth. So there's no way we didn't see that fucking. I think so you all. think this is some conspiracy shit? I think so we can start bullshit. a war or some shit. No, yeah. they'll they'll, Bro, they'll slowly. Cap. They don't even. We're probably at war with countries right now. It's all economic True. now. Yeah, Biden the, be capping, yo. It, I don't think none. Of, I don't sure. think the balloon was real because they said it was in Montana, then it went to Canada, then Wyoming, then it got shot Dude. down over the Carolinas all in a day. And I don't know how fast balloons travel, but I don't think it's not that, that damn fast. That's no, crazy. not at all. Yeah, I know how cars work, and it didn't hit any power lines. Yeah, right. Balloons always hit the power lines. Come yeah. on, dude. True. Apparently, a lot of power outages are caused by mylar balloons hitting the power lines. Damn. But, yeah, dude, you're, I, we have the technology. We could have went up with a, a drone and, like, grabbed it with, a like, a For sky sure. robot and, like, brought it down and, like, saw what it was. Yeah. The fact that they were, like, we're hushing it. They could have fucking... That, that was bullshit. I think that was bullshit. Yeah. I don't know. I, I To me, I saw that. I went, that's, that's Balloons that's, don't yeah. scare me. Cause also, yeah, like, it was, I was, yeah, it was, it was. I was telling somebody this the other day, but like our biggest fear with China was like they got supersonic jets, and like the mm-hmm. fact that it's a fucking hot air balloon up there. Yeah, it was like, stupid. I don't even. We could have. I could have thrown a fucking ninja star and taken a whole shit out. Yeah, you could have popped it. Yeah, mm-hmm. just let it like going up a little higher, and the atmosphere would have popped it. True. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's I like scared, what dude. are they spying on though? It's like maybe they're like taking web information or whatever. it's. It makes no sense. The information, yeah. everyone's taking everyone's information right now. It's worthless now. Yeah, true. So it's like... And you would do it on the internet rather than with a fucking balloon over Wyoming. There's nothing there. <laughs> the fuck is in Wyoming? <laughs> the fuck are you putting a balloon over Wyoming for? Like, yeah. Yo, it's mad elk out here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, now they're saying Reporting the balloon's life. been there for years now. They're like, Trump didn't, do it. Trump didn't miss the balloon. Uh, they're going to try to blame it crazy. on Trump. <laughs> Come on. Like, the balloon was here during Trump, and Trump missed the balloon. What, yo? It's fucking not. I, I think it's complete fucking nonsense. I don't know much about China or balloons, but I know helium, yo, and it doesn't last that long. True. Yeah, yeah not for no years. Yeah, that's actually kind of an advanced technology. I get, were they remote controlling that balloon, too? Mm, also, what a bad device for as a spy balloon. Yeah, that's so stupid. <laughs> yeah. I guess it did kind of look like a cloud, though. It was like a white circle. Had me fooled. I yeah. didn't. I didn't. Yeah. See, I did. I failed as a patriot. I. I didn't see the balloon. <laughs> I didn't. I gotta see start the looking at the sky a little more carefully. We saw where uh, this weekend we saw where JFK got assassinated. Oh, did you really? Hell yeah! How was it? Oh, it's fucking amazing. It's obvious that that's not how it happened. Like, yeah. the ob- there's no way he could have made that shot from that window, because like the window's facing like this way, and then he gets hit like over here. So he would have had to like he'd had to lean out the window with the rifle. Everybody would have saw. Him. Yeah. Like everybody would have saw him if he did that shit. Well, and the, he would have had to be like a top tier marksman. Why well, yeah. did I think it was like from a fence or something? You thought it was from a fence? Well, that probably yeah. is where it came Some from. Some people say from the sewers. Okay. Ooh. Some people say they're in And the right sewer. when it happens, if you watch the video, somebody like opens an umbrella. It's a bunch of weird really? shit with that Ooh. shit. Yeah. It's a bunch of weird shit. Dude, I'm on a conspiracy right now, and this obviously isn't the most savory one, but you saw the movie. Did you guys all see the movie, You People? Yeah, I got. Yeah, I think there's it. a conspiracy there. There's something there. Something's going on. There dude. is something. Kanye there. went nuts, and all of a sudden, I think. I think again, this isn't the hottest take. Yeah, <laughs> I think Jews might be punishing black people with you people. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that cool. movie sucks. Dude. It's the worst, dude. I'm, look, I'm not gonna say whatever. It is what it was, but it, you got to tell me. Kanye said what he said. Obviously, yeah. you don't have to agree with it. I don't agree with it. I don't. I think it's terrible what he a said. A lesser man would. Yeah, it's terrible, dude. <laughs> but but. All of a sudden, they have Jonah Hill taking down the queen, dude. Yes. That's his ex-wife. Yes. Yeah. I didn't like ex-wife. that. Ex-wife. All of a sudden, she's in bed with like in Jonah Hill's SpongeBob ass, dude. <laughs> I didn't like it. Dude, she didn't like that either. You could she tell. Did. Yeah, she attack. did not like him. That was an attack, dude. 
That was an absolute. I saw that. And I went. Oh, Every yeah. romantic scene, they just hugged. <laughs> yeah, they did. And did you know the kiss? At the she was always wearing a full sweatsuit. You know, she was dressed like right. Naive. She was the whole time. Had on full sweatsuits. You saw no ass, dude. Watching my no least, cleavage. Watching my least favorite actor take down my favorite dead rapper's wife. Fucking bothered. <laughs> that sucks. What it's, rapper's wife was she? Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle. Hussle. Really? And she was Wayne's like, ex-wife too. And they played True. like three of his songs in the movie. They I was did. like, stop doing this. That was fucked up. They definitely played. His music yeah, that crazy. Sucks. I didn't see the end of it, so I can't speak. They, so at the end, so they CGI to kiss. Like somebody like stop. Are yes, you serious? Yes. Stop. Like look it up. They stop, the kiss dude. scenes are CGI. She did not kiss. That's only the one scene. It's only the one. The one at the end. Yeah, it's the one at the end. That's a real. That's a real kiss. No, it's, it's, no, it's, it's CGI. <laughs> that's what you really did. Huh? She did not want to kiss. She didn't want to kiss him. That would be a power move if they claymation the kiss. Like the Rudolph the Red Nose Ring. Fucking stop motion. Chicken run the kiss. Chicken run. Yeah, I saw that. I I could be wrong. Could just be you know. Know, two people had an idea, but I went, it seems a bit like a punishment right now. Yeah, yeah. Taking down the queen. Yo, dude. you might be right. That's such a sick it, diss. Taking down the queen. <laughs> like, Damn. oh, yeah, that's cool. You guys think you're the Jews? Oh, well, check this out. <laughs> It burned, fair, it burned the fucking uh, the Koofy. They did burn they a Koofy. They did burn a burn Koofy. Koofy. <gasps> What's a Koofy? Burned a Koofy, and then they took down it's It's fucked up. You don't know this. It's a Muslim yarmulke. Ah. I didn't know yarmulke was spelled Yarmaluk either. I was like, what the fuck? I, was, <laughs> I, had, sub, I had subtitles <laughs> on. I was like, why do they keep saying it's What the fuck's a Yarmaluk? And I'm like, oh, it's Yamaha. <laughs> yeah. Yamaha. Yeah, they did burn the Koofy. Is it CGI? Why did they CGI the kiss? Yeah, he is in it. He had mm-hmm. the only funny part. Yeah, of the he had movie. the only funny part. What are you guys talking what, about? I was what? cracking up the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I was cracking. Watch the movie. I was no, Eddie Murphy up. was great in it. <laughs> Eddie Murphy was great. <laughs> yeah. Eddie Murphy was I great. thought it was relatable, honestly. It's just a Jewish <laughs> rap podcaster with his black lesbian friend. <laughs> oh, he's, <laughs> a, he's a podcaster in it. I do. And that, that sucks. That grinded my gears. Yeah, I saw that. that. I was like, sucks. you guys want to be me so bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to be Yo, us, Yo, he's dude. trying to steal your life. <laughs> <laughs> it took bad True, time. honestly, I took the most offense in the whole movie. I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's not how it is being a white podcast with a black lady. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They think bullshit. Shane looked like Sam J. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about it like that. Jesus Christ. <gasps> they do look alike. That's crazy. Yeah. <sighs> Shane's gonna punch you in the belly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll like that, dude. That's a compliment. He's gonna punch you in the belly. <laughs> Shane will like that. You is just he, made is you he honestly to sign a death pack. <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna make you shit on yourself, Drew? <laughs> He's gonna <be> kill you. <laughs> But yeah, I was cracking up. The movie was cracking me up the whole time. I was watching. All of a sudden, I saw. I went, "Wait a second, what the fuck?" So I put it all together. I'm like, "This is fucking. This is evil, dude." It is evil. Well, I hate now the propaganda. they're saying the movie was anti-Semitic. It uh, nobody liked it. Everyone nobody liked it. Everyone was pissed. But now they're saying it's anti-Semitic. They're saying the movie. I mean, don't ask me why. Someone sent me a clip of Israeli news, which I don't think if you're not Jewish, don't watch that. Stuff. It's not for you. But it was like this movie elevated black culture and just destroyed Jewish culture. It didn't elevate black culture, but it did destroy Jewish culture. Did it was more. Anti- I was. How did it end? That's what I was wondering. I mean, they, they just get married and kiss at the end. It's bullshit. And both parents were like, "Yeah, we are pretty yeah. similar." The parent, the yeah. parents help them get back because they break up, and then the parents help them get back together. And then but they, they have to. What? What's? Do they both have to come to agree? Is there an agreement? Like, yeah, you know what? Jewish people and black people actually do have a similar structure. Do they reach that, or is it never? Reached? No, it, no, they have. They have something like that where like. The parents both apologize for like their wrongdoings throughout the yeah. movie, and then the, yeah, it's all like a big fucking powwow. They're but like, it, we're it, all the re- same. it resolves nothing though, because like even so, like I feel like the most damning thing that's said in the whole movie is when Sam J is like, "Black people and white people would never get along because y'all did too much fucked up shit." Mm. That's just not. First of all, you can't speak for every fucking body. Like, yeah. what the fuck? And that's just script. not it true. Script. It was a script. Yeah, it was a script. But it that's was propaganda. The, that's it propaganda. It was Blackish and Jonah Hill. The guy who does Blackish, I forget his name, and Jonah Hill got together and, like, this will be a good movie. Oh, and that's great. And they wrote it down. Anthony Anderson, that guy? It's not Anthony Anderson. Uh, no, he's, a, he's another. It's the writer of Blackish. Yeah, I forget his name. Uh, but, mm. yeah, it's, it was an interesting movie, man. I, I, I only get to watch movies in, like, 20 minute chunks. Yeah, so I have little kids, so I'll like I watched twenty minutes, twenty minutes, twenty minutes, and I was like, again, it was I was just rolling the whole time, and then I saw <laughs> all of a sudden I went, Kenya Bears, that's his yeah, name. yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It was a crazy movie. It was very nuts. 
Yeah. The cuts yeah. to like sneakers were pissing me off. Yo, that was bro, bothering the fuck out of me. That sucks. <laughs> like cool shoe. It was just like it was nuts. Yeah. Dude. Like stop trying to don't put hip shit in movies. And never put uh, uh, never put somebody who their profession is a podcaster. In, in a movie. movie, don't do never, that. That's ever, dumb. Like you make unless they right, kill themselves, normal. right? <laughs> that's the only appropriate. <laughs> or if it's like a conspiracy podcast and the government's chasing them, I watch a yeah, movie about cool. that. True, that'd be wasn't tight. Uh, that movie that the dude uh, Billy on the Street made? What wasn't that based around like? What the have, fuck, dude? What the did fuck, Bobby? Did they did they have a podcast in it or something like that? Get the straw out of your bird. Get the straw out of your bird, dude. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Dude, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you ever disrespect our fucking passion, dude. <laughs> fuck Bobby. <laughs> dude, Rob, no Cruz, Rob Cruz is the goat. I think you might be the low key goat, dude. Before you dude. came, we ripped a free bird. He ripped free bird on the guitar. And I hit, Yo, I ripped you the hit flute. free bird on the flute. I mean, bro, I was just fucking around, but dude, you hit the chords. You yes. gave me the space. Rob the is fucking, the, he can do everything. It's dude. There's nothing he can't do. Rob yeah, can dude, do everything. It's unbelievable. Thanks, yeah. guys. It's crazy. Damn, Unbelievable. Dude. Nice. Lots of adults choose to use nicotine, but there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Lucy Breakers are the only nicotine pouch with a surprise inside. Lucy Breakers tiny capsules break open and unleash a burst of flavors like mint, mango, berry, and more. I mean, what else can I say about these things? Save yourself a trip to the gas station. Subscribe online so you always got a box ready to go. Get $10 off your first order at lucy.co. When you use our promo code drenched at checkout, shipping is always free. That's lucy.co promo code drenched to receive $10 off and always free shipping. And here's the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age and every order is age verified. The product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Uh, are you ready for the biggest Sunday in sports? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 57, has all the action you need. New customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Uh, plus, all customers can get in on the Super Bowl 57 excitement with DraftKings Happy Hour Super Boosts. Check the DraftKings Sportsbook app every day between 6 and 9 p.m., EST to see what prop bet will be boosted. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Drenched. New customers can bet five dollars on Super Bowl Fifty Seven and get two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code Drenched. Minimum age and eligibility required. See show notes for details. It's easy to give up on resolutions that are too big. Why not start with something small? Charge up your routine with better sound with a new pair of Raycons. <laughs> Listen to our next episode at the gym with your Raycons and you'll hear what we mean. No matter how you listen, Raycons got you covered. Raycons start at half, half of the price of other premium audio brands. So get one of each or pair and spare and still pay less than you would with some of the other guys. They offer buy now, pay later options, meaning Raycon. Every purchase has an easy and free return guarantee. Never leave home without them. With eight hours of playtime, crystal clear call quality and resistant to water and sweat, you can take these puppies anywhere. Take a call in the sauna or listen to your favorite album at the fair. At the fair. What the fuck? Uh, ready to buy something small with a big impact? Pause. <laughs> go, go to buyraycon.com slash drench today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash drench to score 15% off. Buyraycon.com slash drenched. Drenched. But whenever... People are gassing me up. I'm like, this is the perfect time for a permanent snooze, dude. Just, <laughs> <you> just, <laughs> just end it right here, dude. <laughs> You're talking about filling yeah. the podcasting prophecy. Yeah, and dude. kill yourself. Dude, we need you. End bro. on top, dude. <laughs> end on top. <laughs> I don't, don't want to end like The Office. Yeah, before people start bringing up stuff you said five years ago. Just fucking, <laughs> yeah. no, dude, it's all been pretty good. The <laughs> Patreon's never going to get higher. I just fucking yeah. kill myself. Remember when he had a cool podcast and played Freebird? That's all I want people to that's remember. It. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Damn. You don't want to basically, you don't want to be Jordan playing baseball is what you're saying. Exactly. There you go. Yeah, you don't have to do yeah. all that. Mm. But what's Jordan up to now? He's a gambler, right? Yeah, he's a gambler. Uh, so I hear. He's beasting, dude. Yeah, always. <laughs> Constantly beasting. Imagine how much pussy he still gets. It's got to be crazy. It's got to be nuts. Do you think he even bothers? Like, 
Yeah, maybe not. I think you can yeah, get so probably, much pussy that you're just like, dude. He got so much pussy that his son is now getting fucking the pussy that fell off the tree. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I think it's probably really true. He's fucking yeah. Scottie Pippen. Pippen wife. Michael yeah. Jordan and Scottie Pippen hate each other, and now he's like, "Yo, son, go fuck that guy's wife," mm-hmm. and he's doing it. Damn, that's the shit. It sounds like a sequel. <laughs> to, uh, that's the best way to get back Eddie at Murphy? your enemies. The best way to get back at your enemies is to have a son, raise him to be a nice, strong, bright young boy, and then send him right towards your enemy's wife. Like imagine that flex being like your enemies being like, bro, I don't even have to fuck your wife. My son my is son gonna fuck your son's wife. Fucking oh my man. god. I passed oh man, that sucks. I might have just Didn't put, a lot of people fuck Scotty Pippen's wife? Yeah. yeah. Future. That's, future. Where, that's where that future song came from. Flip flops, I, yeah, flip flops. Where that song came from. I'll fuck What's Scotty Pippen's, Pippen's wife look like? She's good, dude. She's nice. She's good, John. How old is she? I mean, she, had, she got surgery face, though. Yeah. I think she's uh, 48. That's kind of what I, if I was Michael Jordan, I'd probably have to fuck nothing but like surgery face ladies. Yeah. That's, that's got to be the final frontier to be like, let me just fucking do this. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? She is beautiful. I can't get into it, but I feel like that's like upper level pussy stuff of like just oh, for sure. a lady who's been. Look at those, dude. Tremendous cans on her. Uh, can, can I get a peek? Oh, sorry. No, Let me see. I'm large. Are they? She doesn't. She's not. They're divorced. Good. She's not. Yeah, they're divorced. Why? Oh, that's. They have his wives later. Who's his first one? No one's talking about Karen McCollum. That's his first wife. 1988 to 1990. Oh, she was probably a dog. What are you <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> she was a dog. Oh, God. <laughs> Let me see. Oh. The fuck? <laughs> I thought you showed me a picture of my mom. I'm like, how do you get a picture of my mom? Nigga, what the fuck? The you fuck know what? You got going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that, that's bro. that's kind of my type. <laughs> really? Yeah. Carrie McCollum's your type? You're yeah, in a, you're in a fourth grade English teacher. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I am. Yo, I can get man. into that, dude. Back in the day, dude, I loved Black like nerd? an old dude, fat me- tit. Oh, we gotta get Rob a Mrs. Johnson. Yeah, Rob. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm I'm into like I fell into nerd pussy a long time ago. It's yeah. kind of nice. It is nice. Nerd pussy is like no one talks about it. Yeah. Pippin uh, obviously I mean, had it, but yeah, Laura, he tr- oh he switched up into she looks like fucking Ariana Grande. I ventured a, a BBW renaissance. She does. She, oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. She's got, yeah. yeah. Like, you see that without makeup in the morning, you like, bitch, take this mask off. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Halloween. What are we doing? <laughs> what, are, what is this? Three ninjas? Get out of my bed. Three ninjas. Yeah. Come on, Tum Tum, get <laughs> out, out of here, Tum Tum. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, Rocky loves. You know what? Did you ever see, like, in uh, Little Mermaid when, like, <laughs> Ursula has those, like, little trap soles in a jar? Yeah. It's probably what they look like yep. without makeup. It's like four lips. And like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trap souls. Dude. Like damn. God damn, dude. Damn. Yeah, that sucks. Uh for Pippin, man. Yeah, I mean ever, I mean, would you ever get surgery face? Would I hit a surgery face? Yeah. I've hit surgery faces. No, before. I'm saying would you get one? Oh, would I get surgery on my face? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. What? Like Botox and Bro, shit. You know what? Depending on how legendary we get, I'm thinking about going full <laughs> Michael Jackson. I think we all go Botox. Take full. your nose off. Yep, take my nose off. I'm gonna go white and y'all two go black. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'll we will be the most famous motherfuckers ever if we do that. If you guys transracial? Yes, we go transracial. I'm gonna look like Johnny Mathis next month, bro. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Just singing Christmas carols, fucking. <laughs> what's what's the procedure to go to go black? They say it's problematic. They say you're not supposed to do it. Yeah, you can get melanin injections. Can yeah, you, really. Yeah, there was a um this white lady. I don't know if she was German <laughs> or a family. I have a family something. reunion coming up for my wife's family. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, like a couple, just a couple. <laughs> you just get a couple. Yes, I guess. Just, be, to just be light skin. Just touch you know it. Yeah, just touch it up a little, and it's like now nah, I'm turn into a debarge. You know what I'm saying? Just be a debarge. <laughs> Walk in there and be like, hey, I'm call me Chico. You, know what I'm saying? <laughs> you look like Derek Jeter, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> like Derek Jeter. <laughs> I might spend all my money on that. Yeah. <laughs> Just slowly but surely. I'm like, dude, I don't know what it is. Remember when uh <laughs> beginning of COVID, they were saying like Chinese people were turning black when they got the vac or they were getting COVID. They're like, it's turning Chinese people like it was turning them to having like really dark skin. Who was saying this? It it was yeah. COVID, COVID was turning black people gay? No, the vaccine. Mm-hmm. Was it really? Then his balls get huge. I thought he said his balls got huge. Nicki Minaj got in a lot of trouble for that for saying her. Well, the first strain of yeah. COVID, black people couldn't get right. Yeah, the first one we couldn't yeah. catch. That yeah, really, that, we was untouchable the first. And that next one, that's what they you. said. Yeah, I think I was the first black person to have it. Probably from podcasting with these two fucking. Hey, yo, damn, <laughs> y'all fuck me up. Damn. We did all get it. Enjoy like our December spoils. 2020. Yeah, we all got that shit. Did you really? Yeah, mm-hmm. early. We were the reason Great Room got shut down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was because of us. I, I remember you were saying in the heat of it, you're like, I could smell it. You I were could saying still you smell could it. smell COVID. Yeah, after I caught it, I could smell it. 
what you're saying when it's coming near you or just it gave you like a fuck No, like if smell. somebody else has it. I mean, I can do that. He's I like a bomb I, dog, dude. Yeah. Like there were multiple open mics where we was in there and I was like, bro, it's COVID over there. We're going to stay on this side. Yeah, and then that, afterwards, yeah. we would get like an email or like a DM like, yo, the bartender had COVID. And I'd be like, I told you I smelled it over there where this oh, bitch was at. Oh, my God. What's the smell like? Kind of like, um, <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a copper mixed with like chlorine. Oh, I can see that. I had a weird, I had a fucked up taste in my mouth after COVID for like two months. That's the smell. It, well, t- it smells like the taste It's disgusting, to me. dude. Yeah. Like, I would like go like, I would like push the back. I go like this, pause, push the back of my throat. <laughs> 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 and like fluid would like come out of like my, it wasn't like boogers. It was fluid. Yeah. You know what I was calling it? Cyrax fluid. You ever playing Mortal yeah, Kombat? Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That shit comes out of them. Yeah. It was like, it was like a machine. It was fucked up, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very um metallic machine type of yeah, smell and well, taste, dude. I'm yeah. telling you, no, that that I, I think now you can say openly like that was made in the lab. It definitely was made in the yeah. lab. Yeah. I can't wait to see what they make next. Yeah, the next one's gonna be when they do like whooping cough 2.0. Woo. It's gonna be Ooh. nice, dude. Yeah, I don't even think they should be focusing on diseases and just like go full into robots and shit. I, I don't know, dude. There's still there was that whole Project Veritas stuff where the guy allegedly. From Pfizer was saying like, yeah, we've been. I saw that video. New strains too. Like yeah, all the time. I saw that. That stinks, dude. They're but for that for them, they're saying like, if we can like make a bunch of new ones and just just like go through systematically and try to map out every single evolution this virus can take. Yeah. Which first of all, they're leaving out. Envi- I'm sure environment shapes the evolution. A hundred percent. So like lab versus real world. You know what? Don't get me started, dude. On biogenetics, but <laughs> you see um, what's happening in China now? There's some type of fungus attacking everybody's lungs. Really? Yeah. That's the last. People don't consider fungus. They don't True. consider fun guy, bro. That's they literally the last of us. That's literally yeah. the last of us, bro. <laughs> really? Spores and shit, yeah. yeah. And it's attacking people's lungs in China. Dude, it's always China. I don't know. I feel like you, the COVID for me made me go like, well, if I, I'm going to die, maybe I'll die. Maybe I won't. I yeah. just don't think about it. I'm like, yeah, if, if I die, I'm going to die. I'm not going to like yeah, fuck it. sit in my house for four years. Hell no. Yeah. Fuck that. You can't be scared. To Especially, fucking... dude, 80, when 80 year olds are like, well, make sure kids. It's like, bro, you're 80, dude. <laughs> Go out like a fucking warrior. Yeah, you lived already. Yeah, don't be holding everyone's life. I don't know. That's that's how I feel about I it. I think senior citizens should joust. <laughs> sure. Dude, yeah. we should be fighting them. But my thing is like, dude, if you're 80 and you're still afraid of death, it's like, dude, you failed in your life. A hundred percent. If you're 80 years old and you're like, nah, I don't want to see grandkids or my kids because I'm it's like, bro, fucking Yeah. Get your ass on the horse with the pole, yo. Yeah, yep. dude. It's like, bro. Go out like a warrior. Yeah. That wait, wait, why are you sitting with death? Or are you afraid of it still? Or I, the only reason right now is because I want I want my kids to get old. Exactly. Yeah. Once yeah. my kids are like they can drive, I would say twenty in their twenties. So as long as I can download enough of my information in them, I'll be way more at peace. But that's the mm-hmm. only reason I worry about it. Nice. Are, are you nervous about the after? Or are you cool with it's just blank? No, I'll, I'll be, be blank, back dude. into the mother substance, bro. This is just yeah, yeah this is just one reality. See, he knows. I'll be back into the mother. He mo- knows he I'll comes be- from the pool of consciousness. This is all he borrowed, knows, dude. Bro. This is all borrowed. That's right. I- I'm trying to figure it out myself. Yeah, dude. This is all borrowed materials. You got them. The cow ate them. It died. You ate the cow. You ate this. Hell yeah. You borrowed all the molecules. Right back to the essence, bro. You go right back. Yeah. Yeah, dude. They're, I'm reading a book right now where they talk about how the way they explain a conscious universe, because it doesn't make any sense. How does consciousness arise? In an unconscious universe. Mm-hmm. Doesn't make sense. You have a convergence theory where they're like, oh, uh, it like slowly comes on. Like, well, exactly where does like no one can draw a distinction between what's exactly conscious and where does it start and stop? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. an animal, like a dog, okay, it's kind of conscious. What about this? What about... some people say that every single molecule is consciousness to like the most infinitesimal degree. Yeah, that makes sense. But what they're trying to figure out is how do they compound? Do they compound into like a human kind? But yeah, I don't know. Right. What if you become fossilized though? I mean, that's just your body and shit though. Yeah, but then it's it doesn't go anywhere, dude. You're just stuck between two rocks. Where does the soul But where go? does the consciousness go? That's what I'm saying. It stays well, in that's you when until you, you Your become... brain could just be more of like a Wi-Fi receptor. Mm. Consciousness Ooh. is something free flowing. So like you would, be, you would just, yeah. you would just be offline. Once you stop paying the bill, it's over. Yeah, you'd be yeah. offline. Yeah, once you stop paying, you're done. Yeah. Oh hell. I don't know. I just yeah. tell myself this. It makes me feel good. If I'm gonna be like, yeah, everything is empty. It's like you just feel terrible. Your body's designed to believe in something other than yeah. what you're. It oh, literally 100%. affects your body. If you think you're gonna die and like this is it, no, blah, 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 it's like it's bad for your health. Very yeah. true. There's no way of pro- you have no way of proving it. Very true. You're true. signing up for a, a belief system that's gonna just destroy your health. And yeah. make you a pussy 80 year old. Yeah. Sometimes I get too high before bed and I'm just like, yeah, my heart's pounding That's fast. The worst, it's go- I'm gonna die. <laughs> That's I'm just, the worst. I'm just brother. not gonna wake up tomorrow and like <laughs> I've come, I have come to peace with it. 
Because we already have our replacements for the pod, so it's like yeah, we have our backup. It is what it is, dude. Who's your backup? What do you have? you have understudies for this? We got understudies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you didn't know. Yeah, we got subs. <laughs> no. Yeah, we got subs. Uh, if Rob dies, we're getting Alonzo Hamburger Jones to replace him. Nice. Mm-hmm. If I die, Ryan Foster replaces me. Nice. And if Naeem dies, Earthquake replaces him. I see. There you yeah. go. Pretty good pod. We got big dogs. That's coming. a great pod. That's a good pod. That's so yeah. much of a better pod than what we have now. It's good you guys did that. <laughs> That's good you guys did that. Man. We have them on paper. They already signed contracts for it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hamburger knows, dude. I want to start taking that page out of Dame Dash's book for pot. He might be, he's my favorite person to watch interview right now. I was telling you guys before we started. He's an asshole. Yeah. He's kind dude, of mean. He's the best. He brings, dude, did you see the one he did the Breakfast Club and he brings an o, he brings an OG with him? Yeah. This is my <laughs> OG. It's like, dude. Is this some guy? <laughs> yeah, it's his OG, bro. This, this is, is my OG. OG bro. His title, and they pull up a title card, OG Rob. <laughs> what? The dude just sits back there with sunglasses the entire time. Yo. I was like, that's the coolest shit I've ever seen in my life. Bringing an OG. Bringing an OG. He's like, I only go somewhere with my OG. And then he calls the Breakfast Club <laughs> Chatty Patties the entire time. He's like, why are you guys talking about other men? That's for girls. Yeah, first, they God, shit. Shit. <laughs> he's a dickhead, but it's so he's so yeah. fucking funny. He's he is funny. way too he's old to be rolling around with an OG. Yeah. yeah. You can't be 50 with an OG. Yeah, how no, you OG? Be 80? He carries around like a rabbit's dude, foot. He's someone else's OG. Dude, it's. <laughs> He's sick as move, and he's like, I don't know, tell him, right? He's like, yeah, that's true. And it's, just, it's all he says. It's the best. Yo, what? It's the, the best. Fuck? He's like, yo, how many parties did I throw last week? He's like, I don't know, like two or three. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll come out, and he chimes in a couple every now and again. Dude, it's the coolest shit to have someone sitting there. Yeah, he is probably like 50 in the thing. Yeah, he it was like seven OG. years ago. He asked his OG, yo, how many parties did I throw last week? Two. He's like, it might have been three. He's like, yeah, it was probably like two, three. <laughs> That's <laughs> so crazy. Like, it's Dog, OGs ruin fun, bro. I used to roll around at all these open mics with OGs, and Did you? They ruin fun. Really? Yeah, you can't do white people things when you're OG there, bro. You got to fucking, they crime you were down they comics? Quick. True, yeah. No, they weren't. True, true. Remember to come to the great room with like <laughs> motherfuckers with face tats and shit? Yeah, that was never good. It never was good. It just ruined the fun. Now he yeah. used to bring shooters to open mics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. That's actually a fair point. <laughs> it ruins all the fun. No, Ty- Tyrone was kind of an OG. Tyrone though. was, was OG, and he was fun. Tyrone used to throw ice at the audience. Yeah, he'd get on the stage and throw. <laughs> <laughs> he would sign up at every open mic and just grab ice out of his cup and start or chucking ch- it. Oh, on yeah. He would. <laughs> so wait, why would they take you aside and be like, "Would they be like, let me talk hey, to like, you real yo, quick"? What the like, come on, what you doing, bro? Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. What do they want you to do besides that? <laughs> just be cool, yo. They want me to go on stage, do my shit, and then just chill the fuck out. Yeah. Like just stand up against the wall and chill, bro. You right, mean? right, right, right. Yeah. You gotta keep your composure. But being composed sucks. Who wants to be composed? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Sucks. <laughs> yeah. You were out of pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Yep. I was out of pocket, see? <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you think an OG would fuck with the crews? Do you think I could get an OG? I think at first, but you know what you do, bro? <laughs> <laughs> You got to get an OG, Cruz. You're out here you by yourself. You're you asking you me all these questions. An OG would break this down to you right away. Like, bro, <laughs> here's what happens when we die. Here's when and when you shouldn't eat pussy. It'd be, yeah, you answer yeah. every single they question. do know all the rules to life. I'm it's on the, the prowl best. for an OG. You yeah, got to yeah. find one, bro. You have to find one. <laughs> nah. You got to get some work. Yeah. Pick up some work. Get some, get like a quarter pound front so you'll get an OG. I'll tell you, yeah. Get some work. <laughs> you had to get some work. Yeah, bro. You got to get out here. You got to start trapping, bro. Yeah. You got to get out here. I mean, how else would you get? You'd have to. I don't know. Maybe there's another route, but. Yeah, I don't OG, know. You could probably. I brought a couple OGs. Remember I brought Cousin Pete around the Raven? Yeah. <laughs> and, he was, and he was fucking hooking everybody up with, with his hookers, with his whores. Yeah, and I even did That's bring cool. a pimp to Raven. I definitely <laughs> brought my, my pimp cousin around. He was just trying to sell pussy at Raven. <laughs> Dude, it's a good place for it. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Awesome. He made some sales. <laughs> awesome. <yeah. laughs> awesome, bro. You have, you have to bleep it out. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, bro. He made a killing that night. <laughs> and he also kind of forced it a lot of times because he like he. he Pimps have he, been known to kind of be kind he, of strong handed. Yeah. In a bro, he wanted to bend. He said, "Yo, you want to get your dick sucked?" So Ben said, "Hell yeah, I want to get my dick sucked." <laughs> so then he was like, "All right." He's like, "I, I got somebody for you." So then the lady came. So he's like, oh, well, "All right." So then God. he had her pull up though. The lady wasn't she there. Came, yeah, she pulled up. She came there. So then he's like, "All right." He like he like, "All right." So, so how much money you got? Here now. Yeah, he like, "How much money you got?" So Ben like. What I didn't I didn't know you didn't say anything about money. <laughs> I just got him. You're done after that. You're yeah, done. And you can't sit there with a pimp and be like, "Well, I didn't know money was involved. It's gonna be just nothing but cool sayings. Like nothing's free. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 shit's free. Stupid like, is with no, stupid no, no, dollars. I, 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 I don't think shit's free. I'm just saying you just yeah you have to just pay. 
We sent, we called a, a hooker to go to our, we, when I played rugby, we were down in Washington, D.C., and we thought it'd be funny to call a hooker to our coach's room. And the pimp showed up and was furious. <laughs> what? Oh, he opened shit. the door and was like, no, what the fuck? And that guy was like, he came out and was just like, what the fuck? Blah, blah, blah. And our coach. What? Was pretty, it was a fucked up thing for us to do. We're in high school. <laughs> That's insane. Yo, that is insane, bro. What? Yo, you could have got a murder. <laughs> You're crazy as shit. <laughs> he was so mad, dude. Because <laughs> we all sat in our rooms and watched. We're like, oh my god, here she comes. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Like it was a him, pizza like, delivery. <laughs> <laughs> wake up, shut the door, and I saw the pimp pissed. And I had he was just like, yo, you could have got so your funny. coach murdered. No, nah, maybe he paid. Maybe he, she sucked his dick, actually. Maybe he paid and was like, fuck it. Maybe rugby. Yeah, I'm watching all these little fucking kids. This guy could use my get in my dick. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> damn, that's such a crazy life, dude. Pimping is so crazy. It's the worst way to make a living. It's terrible, but yeah, they, they, they do easy. make it look. I mean, that's, it's a terrible thing to do. It's a horrible, crime, horrible thing. But they figure out a way to make it look so. It cool. looks the coolest. It, it looks really so. Does. Cool. It is. It's terrible. It's literally almost one of the worst things. But, but it's, yeah. I don't think it's like what you picture in fucking Friday. Like they're not all wearing purple coats and fur hats. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah and that's what fucked everybody up at Raven Lounge because they was like. Yo, how are you supposed to know your cousin is a pimp? He don't dress like a pimp. I'm like, nobody dresses. It's 2023, bro. <laughs> yeah, no. Nobody dresses like a pimp. What are you saying? It's Cat Williams. Yeah, no one like, what the it. fuck? <laughs> yeah, dude, I used to, I used to, uh, I used to sell weed to this guy, and he was he was like a family man, had his own business, had his whole thing going, but he like like he liked coke. So every mm. now and again, I like we would go weigh it out, and I'd see the white powder on the scale, and I'd go, "Brother, what the fuck are you doing?" And he'd be like, "And I was way younger than him. Mm. Technically, he could." My, did you ever have your OG slide out of line on you? Yeah. So you have Definitely. to check them every now and then. I was True. like, bro, what are you doing? He had to be like, dude, fuck off, blah, blah, blah. And then he'd be like, yo, I've been hanging out with this pimp. And I was like, dude. Oh, uh, going down the wrong too much blow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, too much. Chilling with a pimp is tough stuff, dude. Yeah. When you, when you, when you, par I should say this, when you party your way to the pimp, mm -hmm. you need to turn around and run back, dude. Because <laughs> you're about to yes. enter another level of the party. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you about to run into fentanyl. Don't, you, start getting, <laughs> you start getting around pimps, you about to be on fentanyl level. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I remember him be like, "Dude, it's all good." I'm like, he's like, "I just need to like this dude held it down." I, you know, I can respect this on some level where he was like, "I tell my wife I need two weeks to myself." He's like, "I just need to collect myself," and he goes, "And I fully bug out." He's yeah. like, "Everything." I party as hard as a human can like party for two weeks. I like that. That's then I nice. come back, but it got away from him. Obviously, damn, it's a good move. That's crazy. It's cool in theory, but it's like, dude, you have to do the exact opposite. You yeah, it's not, not sustainable. Do that at all? Mm -mm. Yeah, you can't just be like, I'm gonna do this for two weeks and be chill. Yeah, like, I guess in like short periods. Why two worse. whole weeks? Why not not like one night? <laughs> two, <laughs> weeks. two weeks. Let's do yeah. party, dude. Two weeks is nuts. This dude party. That's crazy. He said he went to jail a long That's time ago for something. When he was like younger, yeah. he went to jail for selling coke. And he said his brother would just show up to the jail and th like fill up tennis balls and throw them over the wall. And he's like, <laughs> oh, I made shit. more money selling coke in jail than anywhere. Oh, yeah. Everything costs way more money. Yeah, you wait out in the yard and the tennis ball would hit and you just go. Damn. Walk over to it and grab it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, yo? <laughs> it was like some shitty like local. It was, he was in like, a, I think he was in county jail too. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense yeah. at the county. And he was just, yeah. I've heard the bad. I heard the county jails are worse than. Oh, what? Else. Bruh, I was locked up at um, CFCF for 18 months. That shit was the worst. Really? Well, I was there, and then I was at Pick, and then House of Corrections. Then I went back to CFCF. How long? Or how long ago months. was this? This was, I was 19. This is my sophomore year. You were there for 18 months? Sophomore year of college. Yeah. You can't do, I thought you can't do it more than two years there. You three can't. Years. Yeah, three years is county life. Yeah, that sucks. Yes. Yeah, yeah, three, 36 months is county life. Yeah, I've heard it's the worst. I've heard county jails. I, I was talking to my friend. He had to go upstate, and I'm like, oh, that sucks. He's like, dude, it's so much better. Yeah, because they get TVs and shit. Yeah, they, and there's, uh, they can smoke in the cell. They can do all. Yeah. They can do they they got got a football bunch of teams. teams. Huh? Dude, they got a football team. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, some prisons are starting to get football teams, though. Are they really? Yeah, I've I seen the videos on TikTok. Yeah, That's some prisons are starting to have football teams. Dude, if Tracy Morgan was my cheerleaders, I'd be <gasps> hyped. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good jail cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> Gardini, should we go into the Patreon? Where are we at here? Uh, I think we're at, uh, 64. Perfect, 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 perfect. It's beautiful. Beauty, beauty, yeah. beauty. Yeah, dude. Uh, that's unbelievable. Yeah, I, I've, I've, thank God. It, there's part of me that's like kind of curious what it would be like in jail, but I'm happy I've never gone. No, gone. there's there's no reason to be curious. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, you but would, like, just go lock yourself in the bathroom and then tell somebody <laughs> don't let you out. Like, you know, no matter what I do, don't let me out of here. Just make me stay here. <laughs> Yeah, I, I totally agree. I'm glad I've never gone. But I, there was part of me for a while, like, I'd be curious to see what it's got. There's got to be something you get out you of it. You could do it 60 days in. 
I mean, it's true. funny. I, I, to put, put, it, put it to you like this: you meet a lot of funny ass people. That's what my friend was telling me. Yeah, it's just because you. Uh, it does eventually turn into just hanging with the boys, bro. Chill. As long as you're not a pussy. As long true. as you're not. Yeah, yeah. And as long as you like know people that's in there already, then it's yeah. kind of like, oh, we just. Right. He's just chilling. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's what he said. He said he actually kind of liked it. He was like, it sucked, but then there was parts of it. He's like, they were really fun. Yeah, you're not, you're not thinking about bills. You're not thinking about your girl. You're not thinking about anything. You're yeah. just hanging with the boys, lifting weights, playing ball, eating, chilling. Yeah. That part's cool. Yeah, jacking off. Just, you yeah. Know? yeah. Can you Did, jerk off easily in jail? Yeah, it's so yeah, it's super easy in jail. I mean, yeah. all you do is you just- Just not about the bro code. Yeah. yeah. And what you do is this. So when you when everyone you, gets it. When you get there, you gotta get the top bunk because bottom bunk is always jack off bunk. Cause that's where you hang your sheet from so can't nobody see you. Oh. So you if you ever if you get locked up and don't take that bottom bunk. I thought bottom bunk was alpha bunk. Fuck no. Really? Hell no. Damn. You thought, don't want bottom bunk. That's the I easy. Top bunk was bitch. No, that's uh, that's also easy bunk to fuck somebody up on too. Oh yeah, I can mm. just high kick you in the fucking face. Yeah, see <laughs> what I'm saying? I can come in and kick you in your fucking face. What if you fall out of the top bunk? Oh, your life is done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, bro, listen, when I was can you there, ask for the bumpers? <laughs> <laughs> Do they have bumpers? That's what I'm yeah, saying, dude. I need the bumpers. <laughs> I need the bumpers. Yo. I'm a wild sleeper, dude. I'd fall off. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather sleep in the jack off bunk, dude, and be safe, low to the ground. <laughs> yeah, the jack off bunk sounds like it rules. No, because then I'm a jack off on your bed. <laughs> what do you mean? I need, I need, I have to use uh, your bed to jack off. I gotta hang. You can't jerk off in the crow's nest up the top. No, <laughs> what? <laughs> everybody just seeing me beat my dick. No, I, I would just turn over. What just you mean? turn to the like jack off. Turn yeah, to the just see, see me face the <laughs> wall. Worse though, then you're vulnerable. That's true. Yeah. I'm, I'm, already, I'm already here. Back. You know true. what I mean? I'm, yeah, already, I'm already here. <laughs> yeah, take it. When in Rome, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm taking a shit in front of people. Oh, yeah, yeah, isn't it that. just like the toilet right there? What's that? The like? toilet is right there. Yeah. Well, put it like this: if you're, if you, <laughs> if it's to the point where you and your celly cool, yeah. you're not gonna just shit while he there. Yeah, but if true. it's on some like y'all just put me in this cell, I don't know this guy, I'm shitting right in front of you, bro. You got to smell this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude. <laughs> you got to smell this. <laughs> There's got to be a smell better this. way Sounds to like, like help song. people get better lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless he's just cool, unless you walk in and he's just super cool with you from the beginning. Like, yeah, yo, yeah. what's up? I'm such and such. Yeah. Oh, all right. We, we, we going by civilized outside rules. We'll be nice to each other. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Dude, my, uh, so I knew two people who were in Delaware County uh, jail during COVID. And apparently that was like the worst because it was like, you didn't, all the cases got halted. Everyone yeah, sat yep. there forever. There was like heat would break and it yeah. would just be freezing. There's, Damn. there was no, there was short staff. So the older guy I knew who was in there was saying, you would sit there and hit the call button for like a CR guard to come and you'd be like, because if like you had, they wanted to see like, dude, we're older dudes. And like, if we had a heart attack in here. We want to know like people yeah, would come help take, us. Yeah. Like, people were sick. Dudes were getting COVID. The heat broke. He said it was like 55 degrees in there. Damn. So they'd hit the button to see if it's like they, they shortened, I guess, the work staff. So he's like, dude, you'd we'd hit it all night. No one would come. You were just on your own all night. So like, Damn. if dude had like a stroke or heart attack, because they were all paranoid about COVID. Like, you just were going to die. You were on. You were truly for on sure. Your own. I mean, that's that, crazy. And even before COVID, like, cause when I was locked up, this was what two thousand nine, no, 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 two thousand seven, eight, some shit like that. Uh, it was, was some guy. Graduate, in there. I was when I was graduating college. Yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> so look, I was actually in college. Came home from spring break. My girlfriend at the time got in a fight. The cops tried to lock her up. I started fighting the cops. Oh, they locked me up. Honorable. Six, six cops charged me. Um, they each charged me two counts of felony on the officer. So my bail was like a hundred grand, ten oh grand with the ten percent. Yeah. So my mom was like, "Look," she said, "We can either bail you out, but then you're going to have to fight it with a public defender." Yeah. She was like, "Or you can sit and we'll get you a lawyer." So I just, yeah. I didn't think it would take eighteen months. So I'm like, "I'll True, just sit yeah. and fucking, you know." Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that shit was crazy. You did the right thing though. Oh, hell yeah. I don't have a record there. I'd have had a record if I wouldn't have done that shit. Oh, yeah. I'm saying just by fighting the cops. Oh, fighting the cops? Looking back on it, would you have just been like, well, you did do a crime? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, well, she is my ex-wife now, so maybe I shouldn't have. (laughs) Maybe I should let that shit go. It's like, no, no, I wouldn't wouldn't have changed shit. Yeah, Yeah, I wouldn't have changed it. I'd have done everything the same exact way. That was an honorable thing to do. Yeah. Oh, but what I was saying was when I was there overnight, some, uh, so like, They'll segregate you by like religion and like how bad your crime was. Oh, God. so because of what I did, they made it. They had me with like five star, yeah, like yeah, people yeah. that was in there for like homicides and shit like that. Yeah. So this one guy, can you ex- imagine being a petty Muslim? <laughs> <laughs> a petty Muslim? <laughs> no, we had. So look, they, we had one of them, bro. We had your one. religion and how bad your crime is, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A petty, a petty Muslim. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. Yo, one of them got snuck into our block, bro. Is this African guy? He was Muslim and he got locked up for child support. But so they must have fucked up his paperwork. Oh. And he was on our block, so his cellie was locked up for like two attempts and like a homicide. And he fucking in the middle of the night, he tied the guy's um, arms to the fucking bed and he, tied his he legs. He tied the African dude up. Yep, he tied his arms to the top of the bed and then tied his legs to what the bottom. What did he say? He's like, "This and is ridiculous. <laughs> 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 this is ridiculous." <laughs> no, he said, "You please, are the captain now." He said, "Please stop fucking me in my ass." He fucking oh, raped no. the fuck out of him, bro. No, <laughs> who gets raped on in county prison? <laughs> <laughs> He ripped the fuck out of this guy. No, dude. The guy was like for child support and got oh, his ass fucked. Damn. Oh, what, why did the guy? The guy just fucked him because, or was he like, dude? Fuck oh, he was not. The guy was crazy. Like, he, he was just, just a up. crazy ass guy. Because the African guy said that they had prayed together earlier that day. He was like, yo, we made a lot together. Like I didn't. Oh. Then he fucked him. But you know the good thing? Wait, he kissed and told. He did. He was like, <laughs> this guy fucked me. Could you believe it? Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Did he really like? He was just talking about no, it. No, no, he freaked out. Like he was like, oh, yeah, yeah. he was screaming. Like shit was crazy. And then, oh my god, when the CEOs came to like help him, the guy put a, like a, a you know like a fashion knife to him. It was like I'm gonna fucking kill him if I open the door. God. So then they said that he fucked him some more while the CEOs watched. Oh, oh. crazy, bro. Then, 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 oh next. my god, <laughs> Damn, crazy, bro. Were you hearing this, or this was just in your general vicinity? No, I, I put it like this: the night that night, I heard like screams and shit. Oh, sorry, sorry. Are we screaming? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you're trying to sleep over here. The fuck up. But yeah, no. So, like, I heard, I heard the screams and shit. But you would hear shit like that every night because some people just cry. Yeah, yeah, like some yeah, people yeah. would just be like, oh, I miss my kids. It's gotta or, break you, man. That would oh, suck. That shit's horrible. But the guy, they ended up letting them out because they ruined them, and then he sued them, and he got like 1.8 million dollars. So he made some money. Yeah, he made some money. Worth it. Yeah, worth it. To <laughs> some worth people, it for maybe. Sure. <laughs> Damn. What yeah. you, I wonder what he did. Do you think he went back to Africa or just stayed here? Oh, I hope he, he went back to went Africa. Back. He could have, that would have been awesome, dude. 1.8 yeah. mil. Oh, yeah. that's You're rich forever. Go back to Africa with that? He might yeah. have bought the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> the whole can caboodle, dude. <laughs> I don't know, though. That's, this also, whole that's also perilous, though, to be in Africa. Like, how'd you get all this money? And be like, uh, <laughs> uh, I won the lottery. You can say I won the lottery. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, that's. that's I used hard. to work with dudes from my Liberia, and so they would watch guys, gay guys, get like thrown in tires and lit on fire and oh burn down, roll down the hill. Yeah, Liberians are crazy. Yeah, it was pretty nuts. But yeah, that's a uh, damn dude. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's horrible for that guy. One point eight mil. Yeah, one point eight. So the guy tied him up and then just fucked him. Yeah. Yo, you can't then, do that. Well, especially yeah. <laughs> dude, <laughs> fucking him in front of the, the guards is the worst. Yeah, yeah. Him, like, yo, help! Seriously, the guy's still. And you're like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. it's like when you're on the phone. <laughs> yo, help! Uh, uh. Yeah, that that's a uh, that's gluttony. That is that's yeah, it is funny because he probably already had he he already had fucked him once. You gotta fuck yeah. him again. Fuck in me front once. of the guards. Shame on fuck you. Fuck me twice. <laughs> yeah. True, dude. Fuck <laughs> me. <once. laughs> it's an old proverb. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, poor guy. Well, hopefully he's enjoying his wealth. Yeah, <laughs> I bet you pays his child support now. I want you. Every fucking time. Yeah. Bet you what if half of that went to his kid's mom? Oh, that would suck. Oh, that'd be oh. horrible. Oh. His, his payment went up to like thirty grand a month. <laughs> oh. oh, that's probably exactly what happened. Oh man, no, yo. Dude, this guy's continually getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Will this never end? <laughs> Damn, bro. Damn, if I were him, I'd be like, yo, what gives? That would Seriously. be what I'd say Seriously. exactly. Yo, what gives? Seriously. That's what you would say? That would be my first uh, question. <laughs> yo. Dudes, let's go, let's go to the Patreon. Um, yeah. I have to say, guys, plug all your stuff. Plug your stuff up. Uh, oh, dude, fucking thanks for having us. Uh, yeah, man. Do rag in the Deer Tag podcast and... uh. Check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash do rag and Support the guys. Obviously, Support the guys. Obviously the best. I, uh, also, I'll be in California all week. Please go to those shows. Irvine Improv, San Jose Improv, Ontario, California, and also Phoenix is the big one. Phoenix Copper Blues Live. It's all on my website. There'll be a link in this thing, so please do that. Please, for the yeah. love of God. Oh, and I'll Pull be up. at the stand on yes. the 9th. Yours. With uh, Lemire, a couple other funny people. Oh, but you know what? It's sold out. <laughs> Can't go. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys. And we'll be going to the Patreon now to have even more fun. So yes. goodbye.